Well, my dad, in a lot of ways, was a very wise man. We, we would talk a lot about water. One of the things he would always say to you was that before I died, there wouldn't be any water left to drink in eastern Kentucky because of, of things that we were doing to it. And um, he uh, he taught me a lot about the woods. Well, he said that when he was a young boy, he said he could go to the head of any holler and lay down and take a drink. He said that there was always water in the creeks. I was taught to appreciate the, the, the beauty of nature and and to view nature and, and the natural world is not is, is, is more than a commodity you know it's it's something else but the rock is blasted with um, ammonium and and uh, fuel oil, diesel fuel oil. So that blasts the rock strata apart um, and results in destruction of our natural hydrology which um, causes uh, the water table to drop in, in some cases and it allows toxic metals to oxidize and enter the water system, which comes out into our wells. What we had in abundance of natural fresh water, we don't anymore because of, of the surface mines. Uh, six in Kentucky alone, 600,000 acres of surface have, have been mined, and in Central Appalachia, more than a million acres have been mined. It's it's a it's a huge amount of land. They were compared to capillaries in our body, which is a very good way to think about it. They're just like, you know, we have our main arteries, but we also have these little tiny, little tiny vessels that come out in the, into the periphery of ourselves to, to bring nutrients. That is the way that these, these headwater streams work, only in reverse. Instead of bringing the nutrients up, they take the nutrients down and spread it out into the valleys and things like that.